<sighs> it's high. <laughs> okay. It's always weird to start filming something when you don't really know what you want to say yet. But tomorrow will be my one year mark of having a life changing surgery and kind of starting me on this like really unexpected but brand new chapter of my life. So I've tried the blogging thing before and it never really stuck. And for some reason I'm like, I really want to try it again. Um, I've kind of been at a point in my life right now where it's gotten into this like steady flow, but I'm also trying to figure out where I'm headed. Um, and I don't really know, but I think it'd be fun to kind of like document it and to like, I don't know, I guess romanticize my life as like a freelancer who's usually at home every day. So this is going to be a mix of like pottery and art and writing and painting and kind of just like travel and food. I know that's like a lot of topics and a lot of people tend to break up their content, but I knew that I wasn't going to do this unless I just like did it the most easy way possible. So if you're one of those people who likes a bunch of different things like I do, great. Um, if not, this might not be the vibe for you, but give it a shot. I think I'm gonna glaze some pots. So, you know, I'll take you into my garage studio, which is very cool. Um, and then we'll glaze some pots, or at least get started on glazing some pots because it takes a while. <laughs> Seven. I slept in. I have to feed these little kitty cats. Here. Janelle. Janelle and Jax. You hungry? She's like, don't you dare kiss me, mother. Anyway, I'm going to have this. I'm going to take my meds. Ugh. Go to the gym. Run these errands. And then, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll come back and finish glazing. My audio might be a bit weird because we're just doing it off the handle here, but I just went to Georgie's. It's behind me. Um, and I got a bunch of glazes. But a really cute thing happened at the gym. I got, I had a note on my car. Look how sweet this is. Are you kidding me? Says you're really pretty and I love your tattoos. I just thought you should know. Eh. Sapphic moment of the month. I have all of these nicely glazed. Um, for some of the nerdy people who do pottery, um, most of this is Honey Flux and Textured Turquoise by Amico. Um, the ones with the red around the rim. Uh, are a little bit of chun plum added to it. And the ones with like this kind of bluish color added to it, it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Those have seaweed. I'm nervous because those run a lot. And then this one has smoky Merlot because I really like the combo of smoky Merlot with texture turquoise and everything else. This one's got a little seaweed on it too. So we'll see how these go. That one is the 
Georgie's one as well. So we'll see how the red ones go, but now I gotta load these all into the kiln. Okay, so the kitties are eating their food. There's Janelle down there. But the kiln is ready. I just streamed some Baldur's Gate for like four hours. And I'm like, okay, I need to eat some food. I'm probably gonna have a charcuterie board tonight or maybe, maybe another BLT, honestly. But let's, uh, let's unload the kiln, shall we? I'm very excited. Okay, it is toasty, toasty, toasty in here. Um, but I'm gonna flip y'all around. It's still 100 degrees, 115, but it is done. I put a little stopper in here. Eh. Wow, the first look. Look at them all. Oh yeah, it do be toasty though. But that's okay. So I'm gonna put this in here. And then let's see how these look. Oh, this came out so nice. I didn't get as much of a drip, but I got a nice blush. It is a little <laughs> not circular. It's a little wonky, but honestly kind of feels good in the hand because it's not fully circular. I made this one really light. I'm very proud of it. I'm, I'm very happy with these. Yoink. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one stuck, which probably ugh, means that some came through the glaze, but I guess they didn't. There was a little crack in this one, but it looks great and it didn't go all the way through. Oh, a little like vasey cup, maybe even a cup. Could be a cup, could be a little catcher vase or like a pencil holder or something, but very cute. Again, I could have done more glaze on these, I think, but. It's okay. Oh, this one came out so pretty. Wow. Also got a little bit of a rim to it. I think these have the chun plum on them. Oh, stop. Are you kidding me? What a great teacup. Oh, it came out so good. Yeah, these definitely have the chun plum because they've got more of like a purplish color around them. Love that. Oh, this one probably have the I think I said the chum plum too, but it's so pretty. Oh, they feel so good. They're also like warm, which is really nice. Oh, this one was definitely a seaweed one, I think. So you can see like the green in it, but oh. The camera's up. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna take these out first. Tall stilts. Oh, interesting. Okay, we gotta start, well, start with these and we'll do the red ones last. Oh, look at that drip. This one came out stunning. Again, could be a really big mug or like a nice little vase. Oh, shut up. This one's gonna be hard to sell. Oh, I wanna keep this one. Did a nice little foot on this one too. Oh, I wanna keep this one. This one's so good, are you kidding me? This would be like in Stardew if you had something with like a purple star on it. <laughs> I made purple star pottery. Oh, this is also so good. With a little bit of, <laughs> See, the problem with my brain is I'm like, I wanna give these to the people I love, <laughs> but I need to make money. <laughs> My brain's like, I want to give them to everyone I love. Come on. This is great. Oh, I made all these using a new tool as well that like made it so much easier and I'm so excited. I'll have to show it next time I, or when I, next time, next time this is my first video when I do a throwing video, but oh my God, are you kidding me? It's probably better as a vase just because it would be a little hard to, Drink out of, but you know what? Each their own, each their own. And then one more espresso catcher. Oh, this one had a big crack in it. But you know what? It didn't go all the way through. So it's still usable. And I'm probably just gonna sell it for a lot cheaper. Be like, hey, 
there was a crack. I'm shocked a lot of these had like little cracks. Oop, as I break them on, but they did pretty well. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is so nice, but such a bummer because I was like, I don't want to work with this clay anymore. So this is the same color that was used on these other ones, but this is how it looks on red clay, which is like a totally different vibe. Oh my God, this one is, I don't know if the camera can do it justice. It is honestly stunning. Uh, <laughs> wow, I'm gonna have to use this color on a lot of them. These two have the same, I'll just say these two, I think, have the same colors on them. And this is on the, dar or the darker clay versus this clay. So cool. I think this is where I'm going to end this vlog. I think it's ending on a really good note, which is a bunch of new pieces. It's not gonna show up if I put my face down here. Look how many there are, and there's so many more. <sighs> I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna end the vlog.